Oh, this reminds me of my dad's birthday party all over again. No, <laughs> 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 oh, it's, it's very traumatising. I like to do a bit of crowd work, so um, I'm going to get you all to shout a random word, okay? After three, just shout cheese because I'm very hungry right now. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Cheese. cheese. Normally, where's my best mate? Where is he? Normally, you go right. Fucking threats. Um, <laughs> let me tell you a bit about myself. Uh, my name is Unisex, which I think is a lie for two reasons. Number one, I don't go to uni. <laughs> and number two, I don't get sex. <laughs> oh, it's true. Um, recently, I found out that I have a French cousin. How the fuck is that possible? And uh, I asked um, my mum who found out, and she told me. I said, what's my French cousin's name by any chance? It's a man, okay? So, yeah, not getting anything out of that one. My French cousin's name is... Jacques Mud, which translates to Jack Shit. <laughs> Just imagine the argument you have with him, yeah? You say, oh, you don't know anything. You don't know Jack Shit! <laughs> I love my family. No, I don't. Um, recently, I got an Alexa. Who? Has anyone here got an Alexa? Yeah. They're the most annoying motherfuckers I know. Even more annoying than my mum, okay? And that's saying something. Okay, so I got this Alexa recently. And I decided to ask it the most simple question. It can't be as dumb as me, surely? Yeah. I say to it, what am I? And it goes, wait. Oh, fuck, the punchline's gone. <laughs> no, there it is. There it is. I say to Alexa, what? What am I? And he goes, a retarded Nicosta Bex. And I'm like, no! I'm not, I'm not retarded. I'm just speckled. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, who here has got a grandparent who gets very confused or mishears things? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? yeah. You all got a grandparent like that? Yeah. My late granddad, he told me this story. And this story when you told me it. At first, I find it funny, but now I look back at it and it's like, no, how can you get away with that? But before I quickly tell you that story, something that I noticed quite recently is, we human Britain are quite stupid. Anyone who agrees with that is true. The reason why, hence the newspaper, I'm not that posh, is um, who goes to a, who goes to a protest when it's pissing it down, when it's pissing it down with rain and it's windy, in a freaking bikini. <laughs> Who does that? My sister. <laughs> don't worry, she's only six. <laughs> don't, don't give me that look. So, my grand, my late granddad. This, the story he told me is he had just come out of working in the army. Good, no respect. Good. And um, he decided to upgrade himself by becoming a taxi driver. Upgrade or downgrade? No idea. And this, this guy gets into the back of the cab and he says, now this is back in the 70s, so it's going to be a little bit outdated. And he goes, can you take me to the sheet house? Now, as you can imagine, confused grandparent, normal guy, sheet house. What does my granddad think? Take me to the shit house. <laughs> so my granddad's driving along and he's like, oh, why do you need to go to a sheet house? And he's like, and the guy in the back is like, I need a sheet, I need a sheet. Once again, my granddad gets confused and says to a random guy in the back of a taxi, go take a shit in the back. Why would you do that? Unless you have diarrhoea. Um, oh, screw you, that's a good joke. Um, 
Recently, I saw in the papers, not that one, that um, a load of Pizza Expresses were closing down due to COVID. Who here likes Pizza, pizza Express? Yay. Good, you can afford it. That's good. And um, I, I saw in the paper that it said a load of Pizza Expresses were closing down due to COVID, and I thought, Prince Andrew must be fucking livid. He's going to have to become a Weatherspoons pedophile now. <laughs> you say, is that an upgrade or a downgrade? Is it an upgrade or a downgrade going from Pizza Express being applied to Webspoons? Upgrade. You, sir, have the brain of a paedophile. Oh. <laughs> I've got nothing. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to. I'm going to finish off by saying the best way to describe lockdown. Who here still thinks it's a pandemic? Interesting. The best way to describe. This whole COVID-19 thing right now, it's not a pandemic, not anymore anyway. One way to describe it is menstrual cycle. Whatever you do, no tampon is going to stop this motherfucker. <laughs> We've tried it. Not even the menstrual cup is going to work. And I asked my mum for that advice. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, You've been absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. I've been keeping that. Thank you.